is there going to be an overhaul of the uh, communications group? Yeah, well, if or not, if once we finish the meeting, as of now, uh, no, no direct plans for that. Ano, sa may rin ito kasi yung believe it na na thirty thousand na prisoner for the whole system, the overcrowding. Do we? Do we go back to the plan of utilize uh, Montilupa in another manner? Uh, we don't really need the funds right now. If we wait a little longer, the value will increase. The money impact on the families that visit uh, the, the people or prisoners, you know? yeah. in their part of the rehabilitative uh, methodology. If you have to transfer them to a far off place, you know? does that exacerbate the problem? But in, but in, in current kasi dyan, you have uh, villages practically intermingling with the minimum security prison. Yeah. Yung hindi pa hero pa na, an, yung may physical health na tinatakpan yung view ng mga gwardiya. Hmm. Yeah, Kaya namin kailangan, na immediate na kailangan action na dyan. Siyempre, preparing the zone. Yeah, and, and so many other things, yung ating mga incidents sa South China Sea. Yeah. Yung reorganization ng DOTC. <laughs> so, problema niya, sabay-sabay priority. So, meron mer din tayo niya na, naawa ko doon sa mga, so, lalo sa private office. O kung may oras ka, pakitignan mo rin ito. After 10 minutes, ito rin samang mo na rin dyan. Ito rin, ito rin. Diba yung, um, pati sa foreign affairs, eh, may, ang unang-unang text ko kanina umaga, was Yemen, yung bayan ay yung city of Sanak, 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 Sanak. And nag-flare up na naman yung bayan yung sa baba nila naman. Out of the 1,600 we have there, only 50-something, about 56, agreed to be rep repatriated before this flare up. Uh, we don't even have an embassy in Yemen. It's a Saudi Arabian post that handles them. In case it gets worse, every update on the contingency update on diba, the inventory, who is where, who is in the most danger. No? Tapos the teams coming from Manila, no? can, can they proceed directly there? The, and the coordination with the Saudi embassy, the embassy in Saudi Arabia. Sir? Yes. Sir, related to what you said a while ago, sa incidents in South China Sea. Sir, uh, in Manila, the PFA summoned the uh, charge the affairs of China. Because of uh, an intrusion, again, I think a uh, warship, and then they left the boy in a uh, Philippine territory. So, sir, how do you, an anong gagawin natin doon, sir? Well, number one, ano, yung, ano nga naman tayo magpapakita ng puwersa. Siyempre, nabang na lamang sila. Ulitin ko lang, no? Mas kinasuntukan, isa't isa kalahating billion sila, bagya tayong isang daan million. Alot <laughs> tayo. Tapos, ano naman natin kung paano yung... Di ba yung loss of face importante rin? Nag-declare sila ng line dash line. Uh, umirit naman tayo, teka muna. No. Eh, under onclos. Sa usapan natin dito, international law. Eh, international law, onclos mo. Yung, yung line dash nyo, hindi, hindi saklaw ng onclos. Di ba it names kasi, how do you determine what is your exclusive economic zone? So, ang dami mga kung ano nung uh, issues like yung islands regime na mas paliit yung distance. O kung, kung continental siya, ang pinakamalapit na sa Spratlis is 570 plus miles. No? Pinakamalapit from the mainland. O, eh yung limit na economic zone is 200k. Yung Reed Bank was never part of the dispute sa Spratlis. Yun ang posisyon natin eh. Para mabawasan to, yun hindi naman talaga pinagtalunan ng araw, baka pwede itabi na natin yun. Hindi, hindi disputed to Tapos mag-concentrate na tayo doon disputed. Pero yung dumating nga yung nine dash, pila na lang nagkaroon sila ng angkin doon sa red bank na never na inangkin. Pero pag nagsagutan tayo uh, publicly, loss of face, kailangan sila manindiga. Eh, tataas ang tensyon. So, pinatawag, papalinawa na gano'n, uh, sabihin na natin na na-review ko yung facts na mas mabuti. For instance, uh, incident doon sa ang protesta tayo doon sa dalawang Coast Guard vessel tapos tinabo yung, yung exploration ship. Okay. Pero pag tinignan nyo kasi yung, yung timeline, no? 
ano ba nangyari? First, um, mag-re-row si Ginang Arroyo, di ba doon sa joint seismic JSU. with them? Okay. After that, may allegedly, may nag-point out na baka ma-impeach ka dyan kasi within 80 kilometers of Palawan. Eh. Oo oh, nga. So, binigyan ng service contract. Bila, oh, teka, hindi na nagay joint amin to. Yung China naman, nag-protesta, teka, teka, eh. Parang nga wala na tayo, ah, wait, joint ka eh. Nag-protesta, kahit hindi ko twice, filed a formal diplomatic protest. Ang punchline, we never responded. O, oh, tapos, yung, hindi, kaya, siyempre, kaya na pinag-reconstruct, let's be fair, bro. let's be judicious. So, kung hindi sila naglabas na, 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 dalawang beses, hindi natin sinagot, kung ikaw sila, bakit nyo ko hini-ignore? However, there are other instances na palagay natin wala talaga justification. Now, um, again, no, I'd like to beg your intelligence. Pag nagbangayan kami ni Ambassador o nang sila, protesta tayo, nag nagprotesta tayo dun sa pagtaboy, nagprotesta sila na intrusion into the waters. Illegal ro yung, yung pag-occupy uh, natin ng Red Bank, etc. Pag nagsagutan tayo in public, magtatigasan ng posisyon, tapos ang compromise, tataas ang conflict. So, wh what I've been doing, uh, both in the ASEAN trip in Jakarta, and uh, in the bilaterals there, and then opportunities like when I went to Thailand, and I went here, no? it's basically to ask that there be ASEAN centrality. Mm -hmm. uh, tayo yung kausapin as a block, dahil ang dami rin sa atin, napikta dito Vietnam, yeah. Cambodia, I think, also has a claim. Um, Brunei, Malaysia. Yeah. So, hindi pwede isa-isa may kausap. Pag-usap tayo na everybody can live with. Mm -hmm. Siyempre sa atin, ang framework natin, o close. Pinagkasundo na natin ito, 1982. Mm -hmm. no? Member kayo niyan. May mga patakaran who owns what. The nine dash, the, to our mind, does not comply with that. Mm -hmm. But, if you keep saying, illegal kayo, illegal kayo, illegal kayo, how do they back down with without loss of face? Mm -hmm. And if they lose face, why will they compromise? Mm -hmm. Lala interest. Eh, wala, wala rin point mong mamatigas sa tayo dito. Siyempre, at the end of the day, if we have resources, we want to exploit it for the benefit of our people. Mm -hmm. If we go to natural gas, yan price that we can control. Unlike crude oil. So hence, the more we are able to, yung sa ngayon, malampaya can supply. But once we're really full blast uh, generation, meron na niya. Pero yung transport lalo na, we'll need additional. So in this particular case, the one cited by Joyce, what, what, what are the steps that we're going to do officially as a country? So we're not going to protest it? We're just going to talk? No, no, to we, protested, we protested the, the two ships that went to to drive out our, uh, that exploration ship that we gave a license to. What about the reason? The yung, yung aircraft naman, if you remember, nobody was able to identify. They were flying too high. They bust, but too fast. Diba? We have propeller-driven aircraft <laughs> patrolling that. They were uh, at a higher altitude. So we are not accusing them. We asked, oh, did you have aircraft there? Pero para layo nga sa kanila from their bases. Chances are hindi sa kanila. There are, uh, there are another series of six or seven happening after February 25 that uh, we are completing you know, all of the necessary data. Yeah. And then we present it to them and also file it with the appropriate body, which is normally means the UN. But at the end of the day, I'm going there. I'll try and talk to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, do we, how do we find a solution? To this position. What is clear to me is, sasabihin natin, we are the ones in the right. They say they're the ones in the right. We don't dialogue. You escalate. You, may, you, give, you put them in a corner, they back down from us. Loss of face, that one. Escalate. No. So you have to be very judicious in how, uh, how you deal with them. Because, you know, in, in fairness, a lot of the times that we did ask them, so many, you know, They've, you know, especially when it's not conducted in the public eye, they have been very, very reasonable. But public eye, kailangan yung orang muda form rather than the substance. When are you going to China as a president? Next month? Hindi, hindi naman yata. Para, kailangan ba? Para third quarter. 
September. Kasi may, meron din ASEAN++. Plus plus. Yeah. Meron din APEC. Mm -hmm. so, at may Japan rin. What does it indicate kaya that this happens two weeks, around two weeks after you met the defense minister in Malaysia? Parang impression natin, yung mga buwis were happening while we were meeting the defense minister. Yeah. That was the report, that's yeah. right. But there was a report previously that they were towing certain structures. Uh -huh. problem lang natin, uh, we're still beefing up the Coast Watch system. Wala naman tayo talagang patrols na can loiter for 16 hours. <laughs> yeah. Meaning wala tayong radar platforms in the air. So I made appeal to the Defense Minister to bring to the leadership of the People's Republic. Now, if we are very conscious, and that's why we're, we're advocating the formulation of the Code of Conduct. Yung talagang i-detalye na natin to. For all the, for all the for all, clients. How do we govern ourselves there? Instead of yung parang may bilateral na China and ano, ganito. China and ganyan, ganito. Pwede bang talk to Asira sa body? And we agree no, to these conditions, then perhaps we can respect our sovereignty here. No? Yeah. We'll invite you to exploit or join us in exploiting it. And why do we have to fight if we can you know, or, or increase all of these tensions when it profits nobody? So, sir, I'm going to ASEAN plus plus to ASEAN. Apex, that's the end of the day. That's the end of the day. That's the end of the day. That's the end ay yung punto na 2002 pa yata yung ano, Code of Conduct, ay yung Declaration of Conduct. Pero yung detalye, no, par, ano ba yung laman ng Declaration of the Code of Conduct? Ay, wala pa. Baka pwede umusad-usad na yan. Masay. Sir. Um, Pangalan ano? mo ngayon, Masay. 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 Okay. Sir, meron na po bang posisyon ng palace regarding po dun sa divorce bill? <laughs> <laughs> In flip answer eh, hindi pa kinatasal, divorce na pag <laughs> um, I think it stated this during the campaign, eh, di ba? my personal position. Hindi pwede, ayaw kong padaliin yung proseso na para bang iba impression ng lahat sa Las Vegas, kasal ka sa umaga, pwede kang ma-divorce sa hapon. Para napaka-importante ng intact na pamilya para ma-address ang maraming concerns. Okay. Having said that, alam naman natin na meron talaga iba na beyond repair. So, parang pinipilit na gumawa ng panibagong crime. Pag nag-agree sila, mag-asawa lang tayo sa ibang bansa ng ibang mga tao. Ni-recognize natin yun. Eh. So, uh, there has to be a way out where they, they are able to regain the right to marry. But they have to go through a very exhaustive process that will ensure that they're given all of the breaks, the stops, diba? to rethink whether or not they want to dissolve their family. But honestly, uh, is it an urgent thing? Hindi pa natin alalaktawan yung responsible parent to them. Gusto lang, di ba, dagdag usapan. At... Baka pwede ka pa mag-isip, baka naman yung divorce, sincere kaya sila, o gusto lang lalo magkaroon ng hidwaan sa simbahan. Mm. Dahil yun ang pinangangambahan ng simbahan. Umpisa lang ba itong responsible? Ay, anong kasunod? Ang lahat na lang ng minabalyo nila sa grado. Eh. May, may urakan. Palagi ko, magiging really bang. Sila. So, I'm, I'm sorry, no? yung, yung pangako kasi, job generation, education, health, judicial reform. And we are doing all of that already. The responsible parenthood deals with the ability of the state to help all of these families, help their offspring. Yung divorce, I think, is not a priority at this point in time, nor will it be a priority any, any time soon. Not until we finish judicial reform, or we are really moving with a whole set of momentum.